Let's do a tunnel blast. up guys welcome to the 69 Scuderia today we are bringing the car to the shop to do a fuel upgrade so let me first talk about how I feel about the car being only this car for two years there's nothing to complain about I love how it looks I love how it sounds I love how it performs I love how it handles there's nothing to complain about however there's one thing I'm not a huge fan of but it is the regulation, I guess. It's the exhaust. The valve of most of the modern Ferrari, they're controlled by a vacuum system. So what it does is once you go past a certain RPM, for example, like 5,000 RPM, the valve will open up. Or if you apply the throttle to a certain level, the valve will open up as well. However, when the valve are closed, it kind of sounds like this. Just a little bit boring right so what I'm gonna do for the car is get a capristo system from the Cadillac converter to the muffler so the system includes um, remote controlled valve which you can shut it off and on or automatic like stock anytime you want so if you want to go loud or whatever you can just stay in on and then it will be forever loud it will be forever glorious sound from the v8 which is glorious i love how this car sounds again it is so good however if you're passing by the neighbors at night and you have to go quiet you can shut it off and it sounds really quiet it sounds like a regular 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 sedan i would say like a regular m5 or whatever So now we are going to the shop to unbox the exhaust and see what is inside the box and I will go over more about the exhaust in details when we are at the shop. The next upgrade we are going to do is the wheels. Alright, this car comes with the Scuderia Coupe wheels which I don't really like the design which is a twin spoke design. I think it's a little bit too ordinary or a little bit too busy for the design. I would prefer the forged star spoke wheels for the 16M. It looks way cleaner and it looks way more classic. And the final thing we're gonna do is the brick calipers. Stock, it comes with, it comes in black. So in order to match this uh, Ferrari um, fender shoe, the wheel caps, the yellow rev meter in the middle, I'm gonna paint it yellow to giallo. That's what they call it in Italian, giallo. So we are going to the gas station for some gas first. We are out of juice. So right now we're at a gas station getting some gas. The gas in Hong Kong is <laughs> it's extremely expensive. So um, I know how many octane they are. They didn't state how many octane they are. There's only two types of gas. Like one is like the standard and the other one is like the premium. So the premium they charge now at the station is 18.13 Hong Kong dollar, which is around 2.5 US dollar. Per liter, not gallon. So round it up. It's way more expensive than one in the States. Way, way more expensive. I used to like, um, I used to drive in the States. Um, filling up my car would usually cost me around like 50 to 60 US dollar uh, with some discount. In Hong Kong, filling up a tank 
would cost you like at least like over a hundred bucks at least over a hundred bucks we're talking about at least if you have a small tank of gas we're talking about hundred thirty dollar to hundred eighty dollar per tank so it's quite obnoxious because in Hong Kong car is not a necessary item it's more like a luxurious item because you don't have to take you don't have to drive a car the transportation the public transportation is too damn convenient you can take the metro to every single place you want so it's basically useless if you drive a car in Hong Kong it's more like a personal thing so that is it for the gas here we are at the shop Next to me is the Capristo exhaust. Now let's unbox it. We get um, a catalog of the Capristo range with the 4AA spider on top. This is a good one. I'm pretty sure I can get some stuff from here. Let's put this aside. All right, let's see what's in the box. Holy moly. I believe this is the cat. This is a 200 cell CPI Cadillac converter. This is the heat protector surrounding the Cadillac converter. So there will be less heat radiated to the engine bay. Let's put this aside. This is another pair. Let's put this aside as well. Oh, nice. We got a cup from Capristo. Even the cup are, are well protected. Like you gotta like rip it off or something like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll just rip it off. Ugh. It's quite cute in yellow. I believe this is some mount. This is probably some cables for the valve control. This is some mount as well. Now to the baby. Holy shit, this is light. This is the center muffler right here. You can see the valve control at on the other side of the exhaust. Wow, this is way lighter than I thought. This is Capristo Clay. They have lost 22 kilograms from the original exhaust system. So I wonder how is this gonna sound when this is installed on the car. Holy moly, seriously. This is an art piece right here. Now let's unwrap the Cadillac Comfort and let's see what's inside. This is it. 200 cell Cadillac converter. What is the difference between 100 cell and 200 cell is? So 200 cell has more restriction uh, for the exhaust flow and 100 cell has less. So 100 cell is actually, um, it will be louder for sure because there are more exhaust gas going through with less filter. But 200 cell will be good enough for the roll. Cause you don't want to get pulled over by the popo, right? That's it for today guys, goodbye. This is the most expensive, um, yeah, this, it is the most expensive tunnel in Hong Kong. It will cost you around nine US dollar. That little tunnel blast back there, back there, cost us 10 US, I mean nine US dollars. 
how insane that is.